guys, the final stages of the Red Zone are coming soon to Global. Um, six new stages. Several of them are incredibly difficult. Um, the Bojack fight, I think the Omega fight, and then, of course, the Broly fight um, are on sort of, a, a to me, a different uh, difficulty level. Um, I would say that those are very, very tough to beat, right? Those three fights. Um, so I want to talk about the Bojack fight here. Um, this is one that I feel like initially, uh, when the stages were added to JP, people didn't realize exactly how tough this is. Um, unlike Broly, where it's like kind of, it's kind of like impossible to miss how difficult it is, right? Like, you're, yeah, you're going to get destroyed. There is a scenario where you fight this Bojack fight and you could just like blitz him very fast or something like that. Or you don't get horrible RNG, right? And, and things just go smoothly, right? Like I, I would think Bojack's fight, probably of all three, has the potential to go the smoothest. Um, we, of course, have this great thread from Luka Dokkan over here where we can kind of take a look at the stats of all the characters, right? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what makes the Bojack fight so difficult. So, in the first phase, you fight the four minions. You got Goku, Zangya, Beto, and Bujin. Um, these guys, I would say, are surprisingly tougher than many people realize. I mean, look at Beto, capable of hitting 525 turn one. I mean, that's that's a fairly high amount of damage, right? Let, let's compare that to Broly. Broly's at 575 turn one, right? So, it's not even really that big of a difference. Um, you know, these guys can do a lot of damage to you. Um, I call the I call this the the Namek Goku bully squad because you guys know the weakness of Namek Goku. He oftentimes is like beyond pathetic turn one, and you know he gets tagged by Bujin right here. You know with a super attack, you know you lost. Um, so oftentimes the difficult stage or, or the first stage can be a bit more difficult than people realize. And many times I've done this, and I have like pretty much um, fought. Uh, the Goku squad, you know, until like turn five, turn six, like I've done that before. Um, then Bojack comes out and he starts to hit very, very hard, almost at a million damage. Um, and then the tech Bojack, this is where things get very tricky. And this is why the fight is so tough is because the, I don't, as far as I'm aware, there is no other boss that does this. That has a 100% chance to lock or a 100% chance to seal. I, maybe, I think there's like Dokkan event fights that always seal. But like the guaranteed lock, 100% of, like there's not a boss that's done that before 100% of the time. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, that's devastating. So it, what happens is you can go into this fight with many really powerful characters such as the LR gods. And you could get turned inside out very fast, right? Um, AGL characters in particular are very iffy in this fight. I, I would not recommend bringing AGL characters into the Bojack fight. I mean, you, Kid Gohan is very powerful, but I, like there, you're not going to get Kid Gohan, I think, stacked up enough where he's like tanking double digits from this Bojack, right? Like you are in trouble um, if Bojack is going to super Kid Gohan um, pretty much at any, because I mean, how much defense does Kid Gohan need? Like, I don't know, 1.2 million, 1.3 million, something like that? To, to be able to tank this, like, type disadvantage, this is going to hit really hard. So you want to avoid AGL units. At AGL UI Goku could do very well in here, despite the fact that Bojack is stacked. Uh, so can AGL Jacko, these dodging characters. Um, You could bring, like, the AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta um, for sure, but it's you're really playing with fire, right? Bringing AGL characters at all can be a little bit tricky. So the setups and the strats that I used um, to beat Bojack, right? I have uh, numerous runs where I took the 200% leaders and their teams and I know items, you know, the all the GT side of the red zone and movie side of the red zone. I believe this is my very first no item run against Bojack. Um, I mean, you could pretty much just see like kind of like a, a strong setup, right? This is when I was first still getting a feel for the fights. Um, and then after this, this is where I kind of like, like sort of knew what I was doing. So here's the team I used for the LR gods. Um, besides the resurrection F blues right here, um, all of these care. Oh, well, and, and I guess, and, and Jacko actually, um, a lot of these characters are available on global. 
Now, Int Broly, I think, is a really good option here. Um, because Int Broly is going to stack right throughout the fight. Um, you know, you get a lot of supers in with him early, and then by the time you get to tech Bojack, he will be tanking really nicely. I think Int Broly is a really good pick um, for a character to do this stage, right? And remember, Int Broly's on Beyond Super Saiyan. So that's why he's on the LR God's leader skill. Um, obviously, Tech God Goku, right? Being like pretty much the strongest defensive character for the movie side of the red zone. Well, one thing to keep in mind though, God Goku is incredible. A very powerful unit. You can die in this fight. If God Goku gets supered by um, any of them, you are in big time trouble. Because there is no AGL from Bojack's minions. So, it's like, if you get supered by these guys, God Goku is taking a lot of damage. I've found that God Goku, a lot of times, can take like 400k plus um, from, from these uh, Bojack minions here. So, it's like, you know, initially, early on in the fight... You want to hide God Goku as much as possible. And then once you get to Bojack, then he, you know, assumes his role as a dominant monster. Um, here's the squad I use with uh, LR, Vegeta, and Trunks. Now, this is where we could talk about some of the mainstays here. Namek Goku. This is a fantastic fight for Namek Goku. That This, I would say, is the fight where Namek Goku can really shine. Because, of course, Bojack is tech towards the end. Um, Namek Goku can easily... Um, stack up a lot of defense throughout the fight, and you potentially could have Namek Goku beat Bojack with the active skill. I've done that um, in you know uh, against Bojack a couple of times. I've used Namek Goku in this fight a lot because I think the smartest way to build your teams against these very difficult red zone stages, Bojack, Omega, Broly, is to build your team around the final phase. So this Bojack fight, this is where you want to bring your really powerful Int characters, right? So that's like you get to tech Bojack, and then you have all these Int characters where, you know, you get locked and you get sealed and stuff like that, and you're still good to go. Um, and then remember, Namek Goku um, being able to potentially finish Bojack off with that active skill is very good. Uh, Int Majin Vegeta is another incredible option for this fight. Uh, Int Majin Vegeta already can tank very well, but then when he has further type advantage on Bojack, that could help you. Int Majin Vegeta can also tank all three phases, right? Uh, Bojack's minions, Int Bojack, and then Tech Bojack, so he can be very good. Tech Ultimate Gohan is good in every fight in the red zone. It's Tech Ultimate Gohan, we know about him. And the Goku and Gohan unit, of course... Um, you know, utilizing them correctly, they could be very good. The one thing that does suck, though, you cannot stun Bojack's minions, right? Despite the fact that it's the opening fight. Like, you can't stun Beto, but you can stun Broly, <laughs> right? Like, it's it, it's ki that's kind of goofy, but uh, the Goku and Gohan unit would be much better in this fight if you could stun in the initial uh, stage. Um, here's the run I use for the Ginyu Force. There's not really too much to talk about here with the Ginyu Force. I mean, it's due to the Ginyu Force, right? Like, um, I, I, this actually, besides Broly, this was the fight that gave me the most trouble. Not too surprising, since the strongest character on this team is AGL, AGL Ginyu, right? Um, I had many runs where Bojack just supered Ginyu, right? And it's like, you, you stack with Ginyu, but you're oftentimes not at the defensive level to where it's like you're easily tanking it. Um, Bojack can really do a lot of damage in this fight. You have to be very cautious of Bojack. I'm telling you, like, a lot of people are going to go in here and they're going to destroy Bojack. And they're going to go, dude, what the hell? Like, well, I thought this was so tough. But it's like, when you go in there a bunch of times, you'll see, right, that this Bojack fight is super RNG heavy. He can seal the wrong character, lock the wrong character over and over and over. Or he could just, like, not do anything that'll really hurt you. There's going to be people who are going to go in in one try and bully Bojack. And there's going to be a lot of people who go in and go, what the hell is this fight? This is bullshit, right? Like, both sides are going to happen. I'm prepared to see people saying this is ridiculously unfair. And people to say, ha, 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 ha. you JP players don't know how to play the game like me. Ha, 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 ha. We're going to be seeing all of that, right? Um, here's the team I use for the Resurrection F Blues. Um, these guys, of course, won't be on Global until probably October, probably. Unless Superhero comes in the mix at some point around there. But probably October for the ROF Blues. 
Um, Golden Frieza, EGL Golden Frieza is good in virtually every single fight if you're going to use him on whatever team setup you're going to use. Um, you know, he can tank very well. Of course, if, you know, you're below the 40% HP threshold for EGL Golden Frieza, then he gets disintegrated. Again, EGL UI Goku, many people will hate on that character, but he is ridiculously good. In all these red zone fights outside of 13 and, um, Broly, AGL UI Goku will destroy a lot of these fights. He could be very, very impressive. Now, in UI Goku can be very good for this Bojack fight, but here's the thing with in UI Goku. He is so bad before he transforms. This guy, you... He is the biggest fraud of all time until he transforms. If he gets touched, he explodes. In, in the red zone. You, you can't do it. He dies so bad. You need him to transform ASAP. So, best case scenario, you could bring him into this fight, right? Maybe you take a lot of damage from, like, Beto turn one. Turn two, UI Goku transforms, and bam, you're, you're probably good, right? Because remember, in UI Goku, after he transforms, he has the 70% chance to dodge, and he's still stacking throughout the whole fight. So, by the time you get to Tech Bojack, he will be really, really in a good position, um, he of course still stacks in, in UI sign, but he doesn't dodge until he transforms into master UI. Uh, the first turn, remember you have a hundred percent guaranteed dodging, which is really good. Um, and then it drops down a 70% chance to dodge in UI Goku because of the way he's set up. He probably will have use for a very long time to come. Um, you know, that the, a turn of guaranteed dodging is incredibly powerful, but you just have to understand that he is a fraud before he transforms. He will die. He will get you killed. So you have to be very cautious about him. Um, here's the run I used with the Goku and Gohan team. I think this was this was the toughest run of all these. Was the Goku and Gohan team. Um, because I this this is where my hatred of Namek Goku came in. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want to say hatred. My how do I, let me rephrase that into me properly rating Namek Goku, but I just have dozens of clips of Namek Goku getting destroyed in this fight in Bojack. I I mean, there's no, I don't know if we can like pull up numbers or anything or, or like, you know, probability or blah, 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 whatever. This dude seems to super slot three a lot. I, I, again, I have clips upon clips upon clips of this guy supering Namek Goku in slot three and doing 700k plus damage, right? Like, this guy hits ridiculously hard. You don't want to sleep on him. I still highly recommend Namek Goku for this fight for Tech Bojack, but it's just you have to get lucky with him, right? A lot of double and triple super attacks early on can certainly help you out. The Goku and Gohan unit, of course, can be tremendous here. Um, some of the fights are set up where it's a little bit tougher to get Gohan's guard. Because remember, you have to super three times with Goku, and then Gohan has to get hit six times. The Bojack fight, I found it to be not hard. Because Bojack does tend to hit uh, or to attack a lot, right? So it's like, um, I found it pretty easy to get Gohan's guard um, once I was able to sort of get him out. Um, and then the final team we have right here is, of course, the AGL Cell team. Um, this might be the only team I know items Bojack in one try, I think, is the AGL Cell team. I think I just got incredibly lucky, though. Obviously, AGL Cell being as powerful as he is really helps, but um, remember that AGL Cell can get locked in slot one easily, just like any other AGL character. He does have the good chance to dodge, 35% chance to dodge, so you could be okay, but um, you know, he locks AGL Cell in slot one, Bojack can one-shot you. Um, but these, a lot of these Android characters do perform well. Now, a lot of the toughest fights in the game, right? A lot of these red zone bosses are doing beam super attacks. Bojack is neither, right? I, I believe bo both of Bojack's super attacks, I, I think they're... I, I have to double check. I think they're both like other or undefined is, is what Bojack's super attacks are. Let me just, let's just quickly pull this up. Um, cause he again is, it's this one. It's the, the Dokkan Fest Bojack. And then of course the LR Bojack right here. So the cosmic bomber. Oh, oh, it's, it's actually an unarmed attack. It's like a melee attack. Okay. All right. So, so Bojack does this. So, Maybe like, you know, Dokkan Fest Kid Buu potentially could nullify it. 
Um, or you could nullify it with LR Fusion Zamasu. I, well, not nullify, but counter it with Fusion Zamasu, I guess. But, I mean, he he's not going to come out. Fusion Zamasu might not come to Global until January. Because um, that's when Jiren and Janemba came to Global Dokkan as well. Um, and then Bojack. Oh, is a... No, 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 no. Bo Bojack does the 18 key, the Galactic Suppression. This is what he supers you with. Um, and this this is an other or undefined. He does not do the 12 key. He does the 18 key. This is the attack that LR Bojack does. So you, you can't like nullify it with the androids or something like that, right? But there we go. These are the setups I use for Bojack. Um, I think, you know, uh, uh, your best characters can definitely make it work. LR Gods, right? Uh, Easy 8 LR Super Saiyan 4s. I, I haven't used them uh, in a no item run in this event, but I, I do think like they're good enough. I probably would not want to run LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku in here just on the chance he gets locked in slot 1. But if you do bring him, if maybe he's one of your best characters or something like that, remember that, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, they can counter. They do have that 30% chance to counter, which could come in clutch. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the Bojack fight. Uh, again, loading up on int characters to take down his final phase is good. Obviously, stacking characters... Um, but do not underestimate Bojack's minions. Um, these guys can tear you up. They can do a lot of damage even to the 7th anniversary LRs if they super the anniversary LRs and your guard is no longer up. So, again, I, I think the best advice I could have is not to underestimate this fight. This is a tough fight. I would argue this, actually, as the third hardest fight um, in the game currently. So you do want to keep that in mind when actually taking it down, right? So let me know what you guys think of the BoJack Red Zone fight. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.